Parker and I have been testing AI tools for professionals over the past three years. And it's about time to start sharing some of our experiences. Now with the rise of AI agents, that's really becoming interesting. And I just had a call with Paco. I shared four AI tools that really reached the next level, in my opinion. One would be Lindy. That's an AI agent, or it combines actually other, several AI agents. And you can have automations running based just on natural language prompts and that's amazing so like sapia but much easier to set up then i talk about notebook lm from google that you might know as well and this amazing podcast capabilities using our iCore journey book as the knowledge base that's crazy things. Then I talk about 11 Labs, and I'm not talking about a text to speech feature there. No, I'm talking about their new AI agent call center thing where you actually can talk to a person. And that's really crazy. You have to check this one out. And then HeyGen, if you don't know what HeyGen is, it allows you to create avatars that, that convert text to speech as well. And that's crazy how realistic they became in the meantime. Most of these tools I've been testing over the past years and this is crazy the progress that's going on that's why i thought it's about time to start talking about this as we as professionals can really benefit from the development of these ais and especially the ai agents so now let's dive into the call with paco where i share all these insights that i have there and then in the end of the video please go to the comments below let me know which of these ai solutions are you most interested in to see more about happy to make another follow-up video about this one then too but now let's dive right in starting to play with agents rather than the chat gpt okay mm -hmm. so i optimized the chat gpt to my script writing and things like that mm -hmm. And now I found Lindy. It's like Sapia, but based on AI and everything you do, you can just query AI. So I can say, go to search perplexity, search for the biggest productivity problem, mm -hmm. and then go to the knowledge base. The knowledge base is connected to Google. Well, and, the book. and there is iCore book version one. And okay. the, who is Tom Solid? I have put in all the things about me. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then I say uh, how to write a script and things like that. Mm -hmm. And then as it has a great Notion integration, I used Notion to post it there. And, and what do you then deliver? <laughs> Here you see it just places this. You can say add it to the database and add these custom fields and all with natural na language. That's insane. Mm -hmm. So here, you know, it starts again exactly with statistics and it is, uh, is saying the same as I use with uh, ChatGPT, what I trained, the same quality of script. And it gives ideas based on the main pain points. That's something I haven't refined or something like that because you can go wider. You can, for example, add an AI agent and then you can add them skills. And in the skills, you can say uh, you have access to Calendly, you have access to email, you have access to all these things. And then you can give him a prompt and depending on what he needs to do, he will send these things to email or something like that. So for example, here, it sent me the email. So I could have every mo Monday morning an idea about what to do this week or something like that, you know, mm -hmm. and very comprehensive. But that's just one of the use cases because it integrates with Airtable. It can reach out to the people automatically. It can even call the people. Mm -hmm. And many things like that. And it's it's twenty dollars per month. Wow, perfectly assumed. And uh, the other crazy thing then is, well, I went to Notebook LM uh -huh. and I gave it another go. It would be so effortlessly to make a podcast. I mean, listen. welcome to the deep dive. Today we're uh, really digging into a coaching session with Tom Solid and Paco Cantero. Yeah, they're talking team community. Well, the thing is, I I fed the three hour coaching from the inner circle. That's part of it. And another one is uh, two podcasts that we had about PKM and BPM and so on. So this okay. is insane. welcome to the deep dive. Today we're uh, really digging into a coaching session with Tom Solid and Paco Cantero. Yeah, they're talking team communication, productivity, yeah, the real nitty gritty stuff. Exactly, and it's based on actual examples, questions from folks like Greg and Roberto, which makes it super practical. Right. So our mission here is to pull out those key insights, those actionable things you can use for managing, you know, information flow and keeping your team focused. Our main source is actually clips from that coaching session itself. So we get a real look at how they apply their ideas. We'll walk through how they tackle inboxes, prioritize messages, handle teams in different time zones. Yeah. Uh, the role of structured meetings. Oh yeah, the meeting structure sounds interesting and how it all ties into project management tools. Definitely. Okay, so first up, the inbox. Always a challenge, right? Oh, we don't obviously need to watch the uh, listening. 
insane man really insane great. right yeah for me this is another channel you know itself <laughs> itself that that's exactly what i thought you know even just the audio and we have a podcast as, where they as it is man as it is you know as yeah it as it is and we can feed every coaching session or whatever and they will just talk about this this is insane so i went one step further <laughs> and fed it into chat gpt again Mm -hmm. And obviously then with an agent, everything can be automated. The moment we had the interview, it can be actually transcribed and then it creates a podcast that is controllable. And then mm -hmm. we can feed this back into 11 labs and have a proper podcast this way. So mm -hmm. that's something like this then. Welcome to another episode of Mind in Motion. I'm Alex, the data guy who thinks productivity isn't about more apps. It's about more clarity. And I'm Bree. I love stories, sticky notes, and systems that actually help us feel more productive, not just look. Pro I think it feels much more natural what they have. So I have to see what you can do. But now hold your breath, man, because what I'm about to show you. I'm holding, I'm holding for the, for the last three years. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Hey there, I'm Sarah from the Paperless Movement Support. How can I help you today? Hey Sarah, um, I wonder what this shit is all about. I can definitely help you figure out what this shit is all about. But could you be a little more specific? What are you referring to? Are you curious about i the Paperless Movement, or maybe one of our products like the i Journey Cohort, or the Inner Circle Program? Well, I have no idea what this is all about. I just heard you about productivity or things like that. So I'm I'm totally overwhelmed. I'm successful. That's no doubt. But uh, well, let's say I, I struggle most with note taking. So how do I approach this? I hear you. It's easy to get overwhelmed with so much information out there, especially when it comes to productivity. The good news is we can definitely help you with note taking. To give you the best advice, could you tell me a bit more about how you're currently taking notes? For example, are you using any specific tools already, like a notebook, or maybe an app like Apple Notes or Evernote? Well, I'm using just a paper notebook, that's it. Okay, a paper notebook. Nothing wrong with that, but it might be time to level up. So since you're used to paper, have you considered using a tablet with a stylus? It could give you a similar feel, but with the advantages of digital, like being able to search your notes and access them on all your devices. Does that sound like something you'd be interested in? Well, I'm not sure yet. I don't know. What is what is i -Core all about? How does it help me in this regards? i -Core is our framework for helping busy professionals like yourself regain control of their information and turn it into action. It's divided into four key stages, input, control, output, and refine. When it comes to note-taking, i -Core can help you in a few ways. First, it helps you decide what to capture. Second, it helps you decide where to store it so you can actually find it later. And third, it helps you turn those notes into actions. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense, but how do I learn this? Great question. There are several ways to learn i -Core. First, we have the i -Core Journey, which is a step-by-step -step online program available through the Paperless Movement membership. It includes courses that walk you through each stage of i -Core with practical exercises. Alternatively, for a more immersive experience, we have the Inner Circle program, which includes personalized coaching and a community of like-minded professionals. Which of those sounds like a better fit for you? No. So now I can uh, go here and in the call history, you have the recording of the whole thing. You have a summary, you have the transcription. And if, you know, we wouldn't have it get interrupted, we would get the name, the email and things like that too. Mm -hmm. But what's amazing is the accuracy and the understanding of what's going on. So this is not specialized. Again, it was just a simple test where I just provided the book and mm -hmm. you know just a rough thing about our product but that was something i just wanted to test but i thought this is crazy man and well obviously we have to stay on top of everything and i see potential for an agent that is actually supporting our members based on the knowledge from i mm -hmm. but it should be accessible just for the members right and the other one is just a sales agent that people can talk to to get all the answers about what to join and what is the difference and, and whatnot. And obviously this applies not only to calling, there are other options uh, with chat and things too. Mm -hmm. Compared to even one year ago, this is crazy, man.
I yeah. ask specific questions about execution beasts and things like that, and it gets the point, and that's something that uh, ChatGPT cannot handle. So, for example, here it's using the Gemini 2.0 Flash. Mm -hmm. In these Lindy, it uses different types. It uses ChatGPT, but here it uses Claude. You know, mm -hmm. it's a combination of the best AIs to work through the process that you need to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm not sure yet how to leverage it, but it might be possible with some training, mm -hmm. especially reaching out to people who might be interested, something that we don't see because it can check, for example, Airtable and see the activity of a lead and then decide based on this, is it worth reaching out and things like that to keep the conversation going. As you can have a knowledge base here with 20 million characters. So mm -hmm. this is something we are far away from. It, will, mm. is a, it is aware of all this. So people could send an email and have a conversation, right? Mm -hmm. And the last thing I went back to was a HNAI to see how they progressed. And it's amazing, man, how they... Tom Solid and Paco Cantero's approach to productivity distinguishes itself from many others through several core tenets, prominently featuring their I-Core framework and a strong emphasis on building a comprehensive tool agnostic system. Mm -hmm. That's insane, the progress. All right, what do you think about all these insights? Did I miss anything? Is there any other recommendations that you might have as a professional using AI? Let me know in the comments below. If you want to see more about this, you can be sure we will talk more about AI. It won't become one of these AI channels because it's all the focus on productivity for professionals. So there will be always the focus on the professional side, but you can be sure we will look into the productivity tools, AI solutions too. So if you're interested, I catch you up in the next one.